In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. Hello, good morning and welcome to the parish of Stockport and Brinnington's online prayers for the departed on All Souls Day. I think this year we've all experienced much loss through the pandemic. It's been very difficult for many of us. But as we pray today in our online community, let's remember God's promise of eternal life and his promise that he is always with us. He walks with us in good times and bad times. God knows and understands our suffering because he sent his son to suffer on the cross so that we could be saved. And as we pray today, you might like to light a candle at home and pray for those lost to coronavirus. Or you might like to light a candle and name before God your loved ones that you remember today. So let us pray. Everlasting God, our maker and redeemer, Grant us, with all the faithful departed, that sure benefits of your Son's saving passion and glorious resurrection, that in the last day when you gather up all things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is from 1 Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you who are being protected by the power of God through faith for our salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy, for you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And the second reading is from John's Gospel. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Let's pray. Let us pray to the Lord who has conquered death. Jesus, bread from heaven, you satisfy the hungry with good things. Grant us a share with all the faithful departed in the banquet of your kingdom. Jesus, the light of the world, you gave the man born blind the gift of sight. Open the eye of faith and bring us from darkness to your eternal light and glory. Jesus, son of the living God, you summoned your friend Lazarus from death to life. Raise us at the last to full and eternal life with you. 
Jesus, crucified Saviour. In your dying you entrusted each to the other. Mary, your mother, and John, your beloved disciple. Sustain and comfort all who mourn. Jesus, our way and truth and life. You drew your disciple Thomas from doubt to faith. Reveal the resurrection faith to the doubting and the lost. May God, in his infinite love and mercy, bring the whole church living and departed in the Lord Jesus to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of his eternal kingdom. Amen. Neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 